Hey everyone, Fam Rips Pokemon. It is Wednesday and we are going to do quite the variety. Still taking a break from 151 because if you're coming at us and during the premiere, stay tuned after the video because we're jumping right into Ellipsis's 151 Wednesday video. But this one, we are going to be doing nine packs of Scarlet and Violet Day Evolved, hoping to master set and complete some binder love there. We have two more of our Mimikyu boxes from Walmart. I uh, want to open another one of these because yesterday we pulled this bad boy out of one of them. That video was up, and I did double check. We have a couple more Evolving Skies, kind of my favorite three packs from Sword and Shield. We've got Evolving Skies, two Fusion, and a Brilliant Stars. So I'm going to go ahead and cut forward, get the Mimikyu boxes open, and we will dive in. Okay, I'm back. So we have our nine Paldea, nine Scarlet and Violet, uh, the four Silver Tempest, one Brilliant Stars, two Fusion, and four Evolving Skies. I think that brings our total to 29 packs. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that weird odd number, so let's make another Evolving Skies, right? So we'll get five Evolving Skies in this opening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my least favorite of all of these. Um, just have not been able to dive in and get real, I don't say passionate, but... Pal Day has just really not been the set that's got me excited. But still some good hits in there. Definitely haven't pulled the Iona yet. Um, so still looking to master set it. Pin Churchin, Bravery Charm, and how about a Grusha? Bash the set and then pull a full art trainer. Okay, Pal Day. A lot of these Paldea packs were the ones that were left over when we on the Silver Tempest God Pack Rampage, where we uh, kind of basically ordered as many in three as we can, which was Target.com's max. Um, so we have a lot of Paldea in these Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I wasn't really hoping much, thought we were going to get much out of them because the Silver Tempest were kind of loaded. But let's see. Still very excited coming off of a alt art from Silver Tempest yesterday, or from Evolving Skies. Char Cadet, Relor, Mavistiff, Quaxwell, Slowpoke, Gotharita, and Wigglytuff. I can confirm that Paldea, we have completed the uh, common, uncommon, and hollows. We've completed that master set. But when you get towards the back of that binder, and it's like six, and we have the 12-page binders, um, or the 12-card per page binders, it gets kind of insane when you're looking at five, four, four and a half, five pages of rares and art rares. I mean, once it's done, it'll look great, but my gosh, you're getting there. All right, so we have the one hit so far. Hope everybody is having a great week. We are, hopefully by the time this comes out, everyone's 60% of the way through their work week on the back half. We have football tomorrow night, so it makes the Thursday a little bit more exciting, at least for us. All right, Pal Day are really kind of five packs, one hit. Quaxley, Char Cadet, Relor, Tadbulb, Luxio, Mabastiff, Pupitar, Love Disc. There's a fridge of backs. Do we have a double banger? Well, no. All right, well, we got fridge of backs. That is not binder love. But I know I've talked about it before. Aiden and I are putting together some grab bags that are going up on eBay. I'm not kind of promote that, but I'll show those once we get closer to completion. So any duplicates from Sword and Shield are welcome for us. And that Fridge of Backs is pretty good. I know the evolution change there is pretty awesome. It really wouldn't be bad to get in one of our displays. That'd probably look pretty cool. So maybe we'll keep that duplicate. Super Rod, Love Disc, 
Ice Q, Iono, Knacklestack, Watrell, Quaxley, Jump Pluff. Two more packs here. Oh, let's go Quaxwell. All right. Clavel, Dunsparce, Noibat, Sprigatito, Corviknight, Surviper, Tauros, Quaxley, Sneasel, and a Firebird. That's a that's the fake Moltres. There's only one Firebird. All right. Last pack from Paldea. Miss Drevis, Sneasel, Mastiff, Gothita, Kilowattrel, Azamorel, Vespaquin, Vigoroth, Sprigatito, and a fake fish. Magikarp 2.0. Um, all right. This is what I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping we can at least add one of the last two cards we need for our master set. All that's needed, and fans of the channel know, because it's been about a month and a half, two months, we've been down to two. We need the Katie Full Art and the Armor Rouge Regular Art Rare. So it's not even real difficult what we're, you know, the, the chances aren't, it's not like it's a super rare, hyper rare, whatever they want to call it. Well, there's a Garnivore EX. Shout out to Parker, uh, Parker and Ryan. That's Ryan's favorite. That's a good looking card. Very nice. I think in the first pack magic on all these so far, Scarlet and Violet. Darth, we hear you. He's coming in hot. A little loud today. All right. Leave in the comments. Well, I'm hoping, hoping y'all are catching the premiere. What do you guys think? We gonna, we gonna pull it? One of the chase cards? If so, which one? Armor Rouge, Katie Fuller. Don't even know what they look like. Kirsten always gives me a hard time. She says that we pulled Katie multiple times and I sold it on eBay thinking it was a duplicate. I can't find any record of it. Judge, Floatzel, Miriam, Professor's Research, Shuppet, and a Coridon. Right, Drowsy, Nimona, Lechonk, Flo Bebe, Judge, Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, Mareep. We'll take a Palmot. Palmot in the art rare spot. Not a chase card, but a hit is a hit. I'm a fan of the Palmy chain. I'm not a big fan of many of the post-151 Pokemon, but I'm down. That is kind of funny. So we have a full art trainer and an art rare from each of the Scarlet and Violet era sets. For some reason the Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike are calling to me today. Just if I was gonna throw a crazy prediction out there. Starly, Flittle, Shroomish, Mankey, Heracross, Crocodile, Flamigo, Houndor, Spide Ups Full Art. Definitely take it. Double banger, nope. But that is completely all right with us. Man. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, full art game is on point today. Five more packs of Scarlet and Violet. I'm kind of torn. I know a lot of people, like with the Obsidian Flames, I prefer just getting a booster box, find a decent price, and open them because the Sears are so low. 
in like a set like Paldea Evolved, anywhere on Scarlet and Violet, I almost like buying random product and just hoping you get lucky because even with some guaranteed rares in those booster boxes, it's a little upsetting when you get the same ones over and over again. Um, results in reverse is a good card. Okay. Full art, Katie. I'm calling it. Babe Ruth pointing to the fences. Here it comes. Full art, Katie. Full art, Katie. Dolive, Quaxley, Pontiard, Crushing Hammer, Wug Trio, Judge, Floatzel, Kirlia, oh, Quaxley, Spide Ops EX. Did I call the Spide Ops? I said Spide Ops, right? Scarlet and Violet base. It's we have had tremendous luck. Or maybe that's just across the board. The hit rates are a little better, but we have done really well. Buzel, Energy Retrieval, Lechonk, Flamigo, Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Ultra Ball, Bombardier, and NDD. Two more packs. And we are going to go back in time to Sword and Shield era. Jump a generation behind. Lightning Energy, Wiglet, Toad School, Sandile, Houndoom, Wug Trio, Judge, Floatzel, Heracross, Pineco, and an Arcanine EX. Gosh, the hits just keep coming from these. We have nine packs, no double bangers. Uh, we've opened eight. Five out of eight so far have had hits. And again, that's another thing. Like I've had really bad pull rates with Pal Day Evolved. Um, I'm just sitting here. This is just the Bash Pal Day Evolved show. Drifloom, Sprigatito, Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Rock Chestplate, Bisharp, Cacnea, and a Karaidu to wrap it up. Uh, I'm going to pause for just a second, put these where they need to go, and we will come back, and it will be the Sword and Shield era, just like that. Snap of the fingers. All right, look at that. Just like that, it is Sword and Shield era. Um, let's go ahead and we'll get the Brilliant Stars. So the Silver Tempest, um, two of the Evolving Skies came from a 10. The other came from, oh, we got a black code card. Um... In the Mimikyu boxes, so we will see if we can't get lucky there again. Ultra Ball, Hitmontop, Golet, Chimchi, Chimeko, Chimico, Chimico, Chimchar, Badoof, Ryolu. Anything in the trainer gallery? No. And a Professor's Research. So the Brilliant Stars. Uh, I lied. It was not speaking to me. Fusion Strike. Uh, let's see if we can't get lucky. I don't think we got something in the back. What do we have a black code? No, white code card. But we got something in the back there. Have y'all seen this with Fusion? Delcaddy. Darkrai. I'm really confused now. Concher. Growlithe. Stuffle. Toxel, Growlithe, and a Tyranitar. Okay, that was weird. White code card. Didn't matter, so I'll have to keep that in mind with the Evolving Skies, too, because those came from the 10. I know we've had Brilliant Stars in the past kind of be liars. Um, I guess it doesn't matter here. Let's see what we've got. Leaf, Battle VIP Pass, Schoolboy, Primate, Sillipede, Sizzlepede, Stuffle, Ghastly, Pulse. Do we have something here too? Vulpix, Cloister, no. Butterfree Hollow. Okay, so that was weird. Two white code cards, Fusion Strike, both um, technically had hits. All right, 
Four Silver Tempest. These came from the Mimikyu Walmart, um, which next to the Sam's Club, I think is the best buy, best purchase right now in Pokemon. $12 in Evolving Skies and two Silver Tempest. Fighting. Uh, it's not a good deal if you you, know, you strike out, but Toracat, Palisand, Chimchu, Metatite, Dupider, Ponyta, Venonat, Spindla, Talonflame. All right, Sword and Shield really has not produced much for us yet. Silver Tempest, we do have Trainer Gallery spots as well. Meowstic, Gym Trainer, Curlia, Phoebus, Noibat, Snowrunt, Sandile, Muckrow, Regenerative Energy, and another fake... What is that? I've never even seen this Pokemon. Okay. Two more Silver Tempest. Turn the heat up here. Again, if y'all are watching this during the premiere, um, Ellipsis and I, his channel is going to be down in the description as well. Um, from the UK, we're going to transition right into his video. So we're going to go right from here and go, I'm going to jump over and be in his live stream premiere. So if you enjoyed this one, uh, like I said yesterday, uh, chill, relaxed guy, and uh, except he's got a sweet British accent. So a lot of fun. All right, last pack of Silver Tempest. I guess they're punishing us from all the gold pack, God Packs, except... Whoo. Oh, boy. Um, looks like we got at least a V-Star, if I'm not mistaken. Rainbow Lugia would be crazy. That's like the only thing we did not pull when we did all those God Packs. Dreepy, Bunnery, Rotom, Swablu, Muckrow, Zubat, Superior V-Star. All right, so Silver Tempest finally delivered something for us. But I am kind of a firm believer that uh, these tins products, they try to keep it to where you do get a hit. So this is all that the five, two Evolving Skies came out of with one Tyranitar, and that came out of one of the Mimikyu. So who knows? I'm optimistic. Let's see. What kind of code card? Not a good one, but we're from the old generation, which I'm happy. Um, so we will check. Stormy Mountains, Shellgon, Ice Q, Rufflet, Lotad, Emolga, Wubat, Glossifluor, Hippotus, Hippopotus, and Stoutland. Uh, let's get the Umbreon pack out of the way. Again, we pulled the Sylveon VMAX. It, it came out of one of these Mimikyu boxes. So the uh, alt arts are in there. All right. Water Energy. Rayhan. Do we have some back here? Flaffy. Dino. Patil. Ill. Chinchu. Fletching. Love Disc. Thievil, and a Pinzer. Alright, so 0 for 2 so far on Evolving Skies. I think I'm going to peek at the code card and make sure we got something good at the end if we do get a good code card. Well, it's not going to be here. Sawubat, Lombre, Lucky Ice Pop, Tentacool, Fletchling, Hitmonchan, Hopip, Phoebus, Dream Ball, Sharpedo. All right, down to the last two packs. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday. I still want the Dragonite from this set. If I were to pick an alt art. All right, we got a good code card. So let's do a little last pack magic, hopefully there. That's what we did yesterday, so we'll try to keep the tradition going. Nothing good here, so without further ado, let's make sure we end on this sweet hit. Good code card. We 
flip and get back here. No, no, oh, yeah, we are. Okay, it's just a little piece of dust. All right. Fire. Rubber gloves. Copycat. Zoellus. Cryganol. Patil. Ill. Bergmite. Drowsy. Scraggy. Thievel. And a Lycan Rock V. So it is a hit. Just a V, though. Still a very good opening. A couple of Vs. Sword and Shield didn't really decide to show up much there. Superior V Star. A couple of good hits from Sword and Shield Base. Two Full Arts. Palmot. And I would guess first pack magic, the Grusha was the best card we pulled. And Frigibax. Other than that, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you're watching the premiere, you jump over to Ellipsis if you watch this and enjoyed it. His link is down below. We're trying to do this double feature Wednesday thing. I think it's pretty cool. So other than that, uh, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're not. And we will see you all on the next one. Bye.